as it stands now, I could be a good looking guy. Imagine arms with a long armed Monica Schnarr, and my arm, elbow to wrist, is longer than hers. Going to the dance club, hearing a song that I wrote and performed, being played, and people getting on the dance floor and shaking it down. But then I remembered. Then I visualized in my mind what 1410 Farming Gate Road looks like now that the trees have been cut down. And I feel a wave of bitterness wash over me for a moment. I quickly go, I go back to being happy, but the wave of bitterness, the bitter taste in my mouth, it dissipates. It does. It dissipates. Not not, not quickly, but. I guess this this makes me so angry and the reason it makes me w wish I had the power to curse those responsible I w the reason it makes me want to wish I could the reason it makes me use spiritual power to curse the city of Kenson the reason it makes me wish I could get attacked in the hood and permanently incapacitate, if not kill, the would-be attackers, because this shows me how powerless I really am to say that which I love, to protect that which I love. I was not powerful enough to keep these trees from being cut down. I was not powerful enough, good enough, to earn the money to buy this house before the trees were cut down. And it's this sense of powerlessness, helplessness, that makes me angry, fills me with hate, must be atoned for. If I could go into the hood and get attacked by some badass, tough guy gangster with a reputation of being a killer, literally, and if I could kill him in self-defense, it would somewhat temporarily atone for the sin that was committed against me for the blasphemy committed against me. I'm not saying my, I'm God, but that's the only way I can, the only language I could use to help you understand how grievous an assault upon my personality this was. That could help me atone for the anger I feel. Help me atone vicariously for what was done to 1410 Barnett Road. And what was done to St. Peter's and the St. Peter's People Baptist Church being torn down along with the dirt road it was on the Benjamin Franklin Road. I wish I was specially powerful enough to curse the ones directly responsible and to curse the two who ran me off of St. Peter's Free Will Church the last time I was there. I wish if I could I would send them to burn in hell for a thousand years for how, uh, however long it took to undo the damage they did. And if the damage could never be undone, they'd stay in hell forever. Unlike Jesus, I hate my enemies. Jesus, it's easy for him to love his enemies. Because in the end, all his enemies who stayed his enemies and did not repent, will be he, Jesus will have the satisfaction of seeing them burn forever in hell. My enemies can hate me. One of my enemies can kill my mother and get gloriously saved five years later and go to heaven and he'll not have to make up to me his sin against me and killing my mother so it's easy for Jesus to love his enemies it's not easy for me do you get the fucking picture? so the moral of the story in this video the devil, Lucifer I call upon you to use my feel it, uh, emotions of bitterness powerful emotions like spiritual waves to curse this city of Kenson perpetually to keep knocking it on its face every time it tries to get up and never let it get up until the damage against me has been undone and until I get the trees back like I want them not a centilla less at 1410 Farm Gate Road until I get the church back at the end of my trails in such a way that it doesn't flood every time it fucking rains hard. Until things 
You can have the Red Room. You can have the Chances and Kenton. I just want my little world back. Until I get it back, I call you upon you to use my special energy to crush the seed of Kenton. I'm not talking about just bankruptcy either. I'm talking about shootings, armed robberies, business foreclosures, gangs, and make me king of it all. So that people are afraid of me. Or either that or love me. One of the two.